What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video by yours truly with 1.1 right around the corner, literally less than a week away. I figure this is the perfect opportunity to show off my free to play account investment. How far have I progressed being completely free to play since the launch of Weathering Waves? Um, what does my characters look like? Who have I invested in? What kind of weapons did I pick up from the level 45 five star weapon selector? How many hologram fights have I completed? What does the progression progress just look like? It's good, useful information for people who are playing alongside of me, people who are thinking about getting in Weathering Waves, but they don't know how free to play friendly it might be. Uh, and fun fact, by the way, in case you're one of those dipshits who thinks this is a bad video, bad influence on the community. They made over $100 million in their first month, dumbass. That shit doesn't really matter. Two, gotcha companies actually love, fun fact, they love when content creators promote their games as free to play friendly, because that is the number one way to rope people into the game, get them to try the game, and then all it takes is that one purchase, and that's generally how they get you with the gotcha model, got your ass. So, now that we got that out the way, let's go ahead and get into it. I am pretty excited to show you guys how far I've progressed. Oh, and one more disclaimer, if I don't get Chang Li, I will literally quit being free to play. Chang Li is a must have. If I don't get her, this free to play shit is going out the window and that's all she wrote, okay? We've said that on stream, but I haven't said it officially on YouTube. So now you know what the score as well. Chang Li has to come home for me or that free to play shit is going out the window. And I guess the last thing I'm yapping a little bit, but why am I free to play? I've never done this before. Wanted to get the experience out the way uh, and it's been more fun for me to play the game. I also wanna show people that you can clear all the content in the game being completely free to play. Uh, is there any otherwise? Actually, yeah, you know what? The final why, because generally when I play all these gotcha games, I'm always a budget player. It's also to keep people conscious of you don't need to spend all that damn money on a gotcha game to enjoy the gotcha game. I, I like to keep people mindful. You can't control what people are gonna do with their money. You just can't, it's not gonna happen. But you can kind of like put it in their brain, so to speak. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy. Okay, first thing I wanna talk to you guys about, before we get into the character investments, I just wanna talk to you about how far we've gotten in terms of the hardest content of the game. Uh, for Tower of Adversity, my strategy is pretty simple. I just go for 18 stars. In fact, we can just go ahead and take a quick trip over there. I'll show you, it's already reset, but I typically just go for 18 stars and I call it a day. Uh, it's not really worth getting sweaty for Tower of Adversity right now because I don't have three teams built and that middle floor is just an absolute health pool shit show. See, I got 18 stars, called it a day. So, you know, I'll get nine here and then I'll get nine on this side as well and once i get my nine and nine i don't even worry about doing these other floors it's just a, a a health pool increase it's not even a skill cap it's just literally fucking health pool increase uh they're level 90 and they just don't take any fucking damage with my current investment on my teams so i do nine and nine and i call it a goddamn day this one i don't even bother with at all bro like level 100 they just don't take any fucking damage it's just an absolute barrier there's no such thing as you clearing that until you get your characters higher uh ascend it through the vertical progression of the game with more investment now moving on to the hologram investment uh, and what the hologram fights are looking like i actually y'all saw my i probably saw my last video when i did tempest Memphis difficulty five. That's the last time I've done the hologram fights. This guy is literally the hardest hologram fight in the game. The morning comes is second, but morning doesn't come close because morning's health pool doesn't even touch his. And you don't have to worry about two fucking enemies at once when you're fighting uh, morning. You do have to worry about that. You guys know anybody who's done these hologram fights, Tempest is the hardest fight in the game, without a shadow of a doubt. And uh, what I'm trying to say here is if I got him to difficulty five, I haven't done these other fights yet. They're all fives with no, no question there. He is the hardest fight in the game. Now, can I do six? I have no idea. After I did that fight, I never went back to the hologram grinding. But that's just to tell you completely free to play wise. You can, and I did it based. I did it with Gion Shin. She's not even a DPS, right? You do it with an optimal DPS team. Like you put Gion in there, bro is shredding this. I think Gion in placement of Gion Shin, you're gonna get six, six, and six. No freaking problems here, uh, except against the monkey because he's weak against, uh, he's resistant against win. All I'm trying to tell you is as the hardest content in the game, you can clear this shit as a free to play player, no question. And there's no other content in the game that's harder than this. There's just the, the middle floor of the Tower of Adversity. But that's how far we've gotten. I do plan to do all of this. I need, I need to sit down on stream and just knock it all out. Uh, but what I would do is I would just use my uh, Gion Shin and Rover team against 
this guy and morning and then i'll use the electric team against the the fucking monkey and the bird and that's going to be ggs in terms of map progression i am currently i still got a lot to do i got 70s and 60s pretty much all the way down but you know I'm not really a completionist, I'll be honest with you, because typically at times you're like doing this completionist shit when you ain't got nothing else to do in the game. And even then it just kind of feels like a massive time dump. I'll try to pick at it here and there as I'm just exploring the map, but I, these will, I'll be honest guys, these will probably never, ever, ever be 100% complete. <laughs> I'm just that kind of player, bro. I cannot be fucked with like 100%ing everything. I also wanted to take a look at my Sonnet's caskets. We actually, I think we're almost done. We only need two more here. And then I think we'll be completely done with that. We'll find those two around the map somewhere. Uh, now, in terms of gotcha luck, that's the next thing I wanna show you guys. I think that's pretty important too. Uh, the only thing that's not showing here is the beginner banner. In the beginner banner in 20 pulls, which I did a reroll, I got Calcharo. And that was pretty much the only goddamn good luck I had. Oh, never mind. There's one more thing we did. We did a single pull on the, the limited weapon banner and our first pull ever was the Verdant Summit. And it, we, I was doing it for memes. I didn't even want the Verdant Summit. My boy single pulled the fucking uh, limited banner or no standard banner weapon. And then I was like, dude, your IP's cracked. I'll do it. I did a single pull and it went, it was, it was literally a once in a lifetime type of thing where my boy did it and then I did it. And we both got five stars. It was the craziest shit of all time. But I got lucky and got a Verdant Summit. That in the Calcharo and 20 pulls on beginner banner is the only luck I've had on this account in terms of uh, character and weapon acquisition. I went full blown fucking pity for Yinlin. Like Yinlin was the bane of my existence, bro. Look at this. All it is, I lost the 50 50 to a Verena, which is shit because all it is is more healing as a sequence one. And then the rest of the, the it was a nightmare. I don't know how else to explain it to you. I was getting fucking Baiji. Oh, God. Yeah, so that was re really painful. My uh, standard weapon is looking like this. Yeah, we ain't got nothing from it, bro. We're already what? That's a uh, six times five, 30, 33 pulls in. We still ain't got nothing. On the bright side, it's something to look forward to because I'll get that pistol for my Morteffi. Uh, other than that, we've only done one pull on this banner and that's the one you're obligated to do to get a Baiji. <laughs> okay, now, uh, did we buy anything on the account for the fucking pessimistic people? Uh, is he really free to play? Uh, I haven't bought the battle pass. Battle pass is completely untouched. Um, our store, let's go ahead and go over to the store is uh yeah we haven't touched anything here and then finally for this purchase to obtain yeah we haven't bought that and how many wishes do we have left we have 30 limited banner wishes i think it's obvious as fuck that i haven't bought anything i don't even have that many wishes available i'm in complete pain over here we might not even be able to afford changli and that means we're going to end our free-to-play journey <laughs> But yeah, that's what all that looks like. Now let's get into character investment. Uh, just to let you know, all content in the game I use with these two teams. These two teams I have used to clear all content in the game. One, team one, team two. I periodically switch out Yan Wu because he's just inferior to Verena. I'm gonna keep it a stack. Verena is just better than Yan Wu. I use him because I'm based. But I switch him out for Verena and I switch out Morteffi for Verena. Morteffi's a monster in Tower of, Tower of Adversity with Jian Shin. The blender combo is just too fucking strong for AoE. But against bosses that move around a lot, like Tempest Mephis, this is very hard to pull off. It's beautiful when you pull it off, but it's very hard to pull it off. So I just swap him out for Verena and then these two just pop the fuck off. Now, I did pick up some, some new weapons. We'll get into that in a bit. My level 45 weapon, I chose the blade. Uh, but my third team is where I'm struggling. My third team, uh, we're waiting on Chang Li. Chang Li is gonna be using Verena and I'm trying to get some copy. Dude, the, the problem is I haven't gotten anything for my fucking Tao Chi. And brother, Lord have mercy. Some things come alive in the nighttime or the daytime. Anyways, this is so crucial, right? Extending Rocksteady Shield by 30 seconds, uh, getting crit rate, crit damage boost, also getting a power shield increase. I mean, the more you get for this girl, the more of, uh, of an amazing character she becomes. But like, my Tao Chi is just struggling. The good news is I can use my Verdant Summon on her if I really wanted to. And I'm probably going to do that just for resource, uh, you know, uh, scarcity that I have on my account. Uh, I'm broke as hell, by the way. Like, we don't got no cash. We got 3,000. <laughs> Boy, I'm broke as hell. God damn. But we we pretty much, we want this to be our support for Chang Li. But the problem is I haven't gotten any copies of her. 
So let's go ahead and get into investment of characters. This is my Jian Shin. She's actually a really well-built character, but she's still mid. I just, I don't have the resources and the privilege to re-roll for better stats because I'm broke all the fucking time. Now I got plenty thanks to that double event that just dropped recently. We actually have plenty of, where, where's it at? Yeah, I got 62 of these premium silts, 39 of these bad boys. Bro, 62 of this is ridiculous. But I just ain't got no cash, so I'm broke. And even then, even if I did have it, it's just dumb for me right now to spend that shit on just re-rolling better stats on characters that can get the job done with the stats that they already have. So that's my Jian Shin, completely free to play build. This was given to me through a gotcha system and I said bet we'll use it. Actually ended up being some of the best options she could use. Uh, and then we have, uh, you know, these, this is what my Jian Shin looks like. I'm just gonna scroll through them. We're not gonna spend any time. This is a account review, not a, oh, this is what you can do with your Jian Shin review, you know? Six, six, three, five, and two. We left this open because it just gives me increased shield, although that's nice. Again, resource-wise, it's not needed. This is very massive, but uh, I try to avoid buying any of these, especially right now, because they're very expensive. 50,000 shell per investment. And that's just, that's ridiculous. Um, she's sequence zero, and that is my Jian Shen. My Morteffi, he's level 60 plus. The reason I haven't taken him up, and his, his, this is garbage, right? But I haven't taken him up because, bro, I just didn't get lucky with Morteffi. I have a sequence one. Bro becomes an absolute monster at sequence three, four, five. Every sequence, he gets better and better. So it's been hard for me to build him up further just because I know my Morteffi is fucking ass. Uh, brother's just been ro rocking this supportive set here, giving a, bo a boost to my Jian Shen, and that's just, that's where he's going to stay until I get more sequences for him, and unfortunately, I still haven't unlocked the five-star weapon for him, so bro's just chilling there for a while. Rover is my best character on my account, no question. Rover is rocking the Emerald of Genesis, which I have yet to test. I just picked it up and started slowly investing in it, but you can see I'm broke. Yells with crit rate. This weapon was for me the easiest investment. Man, those clouds are getting dark in the game in terms of that five star selector. It's best in slot for her. It's best in slot for her spectro version of herself. It's best in slot for Sanwa. It's best in slot for Don Jean. That's four different sword wielding characters. There might even be another character in it that I'm sleeping on. Who knows? But four different sword wielding characters on my account can use this one. Uh, weapon and it's such a monstrosity of a weapon scales with crit rate gives you energy recharge it even gives more attack than the four star weapon which is this one because i was using this i had them both at level 60 i swapped off and i had higher attack with this weapon so not only is it giving you higher attack even though the other one scaled with attack it's giving you more crit rate on top of that plus energy recharge plus even more attack it's just like this weapon is a monstrosity now, my rover is using the superior build, the 44111. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It is definitely the budget build, 100%. I will stand on that. You guys know exactly what I meant by that. Will we eventually switch over to the 43311? Honestly, probably not. Not, not as a free to play. It's just too fucking expensive. Look at my crit ratio, guys. And this is not done being built up. Once it gets built up to like, I think it goes up to 22. I'll be sitting over 90% crit chance with a 226, well, 126.4 crit damage increase, good energy recharge, good attack, and like we still got some room to improve on this build if we really wanted to, right? Like this guy, he's he's cracked. This little dude, we can get another crit damage roll up in here. This is actually pretty solid though, crit rate, resonance liberation skills, and eh. but we can get a better roll on that one. This one's solid, solid as fuck. But we do obviously somewhere down the line nah i probably won't i'll be honest this 44111 is just fucking cracked <laughs> it gets the job done guys all right i don't know what to tell you uh but it's s2 I, I can't wait till she gets even more copies but this is my girl she's so fucking she's such a beast and jian shin gives her that fat fucking uh uh where's it at 38 percent liberation amplification to her old allowing her to hit like a fucking truck uh, it's just a beautiful team. I love it. And this is my favorite team to use. Again, you can swap them out for Verena and uh, they're incredible. I love them. Now, moving on to the next team, we got Calcharo. Calcharo, his build is actually kind of ass. He's level 70. He's got the Verdant Summit, which is good, right? Level 70, level 70. But over here, we have a great fucking crit rate, crit damage, uh, Tempest Mephis, 
on this one it's not too bad it would have been better if we could swap out uh the resonance or the hp for another crit damage then that would have been banger but i'll be honest this is still a pretty solid piece i wanted more crit damage on it but that's fine the problem is down here it's these all these pieces are just incredibly fucking mid calcharo doesn't care about heavy attack he cares about basic attack when you're inside of his ult those uh those sequences he's doing those all that like fancy animation those are all considered basic attacks and then resonance liberation when he rains down the fucking you know uh plunge of justice bro the eye of the storm plunge that shit is considered resonance liberation damage heavy attack is the shit he does outside of his ultimate who cares about the shit he's doing outside of his ultimate right so like these are struggling we got to improve on this and cal charles in the same boat i do plan to switch him over to 43311 but resource wise i'm just fucking broke right so we're just using what we have it's not too bad uh, as things stand now um now my yinlin is using 43311 we got lucky the literal first uh three costs that we got ended up being banger unfortunately she's a mint picker yinlin i don't have her signature light cone the game scuffed me i tried to go for it but the game just kept fucking me so i pivoted and said you know what fuck yinlin we're gonna go to chang Li and we're gonna get her signature weapon and it's gonna be guaranteed and we already have pity built up for it so that's what we're gonna do there but look at my three costs banger brother crit damage crit rate attack percent and what heavy attack brother banger uh crit damage crit rate heavy attack resonance skill so we got lucky lucky on her three three four four or uh, mind fuck myself there you know what i was trying to say this guy i i do have the kind of luck that this can roll into a crit damage and if it does that's gonna be fucking hilarious i love using her with flautus but i also love using her with violet feathered hair and it depends i kind of fluctuate between the two but this guy pops off um and her ones could be better we're going to focus on getting these ones up to better rolls. If this doesn't roll crit rate, I'm probably going to trash this. Even though the crit damage roll was good, this is fucking abysmal. Uh, but that's my uh, Yinlin. And she is, I took her all the way up. Oh, that was important to note. On Calcharo, all this shit does is give him damage reduction. Honestly, that's a skill issue and a waste of resources and a bail. I'm never going to take this up. Probably. Probably never, ever, ever, ever going to take this up until I just have resources to spare, which honestly i never do um this is what my calcharo tree looks like and this is what my yinlin tree now hers is actually really good it gives a damage bonus um but again we don't touch these they're too fucking expensive for now and then yan wu yan wu went all the way up here yan wu's very important this expands the radius of bro's uh, uh totem pole so that's very important it's almost it's honestly a must-have he's just scuffed unless you take him up there but bro's rocking at three star only thing he cares about is defense percent so this three star is actually kind of banger on yanwu it really is it's banger until you get something of higher quality that also scales with defense which i don't have um bros yeah yeah i'll be honest with you we don't really care about yanwu's damage right now bro but bro's rocking defense right here until we get a good crit rate piece uh, he's rocking double electro with defense defense and then we're calling it a day the bell on him is very good because it it's damage scales off a of defense he scales off a of defense and then you just bail and get him off the field and bro just pops off you'll see that team in due time in terms of showcases uh but yeah that is pretty much it oh we have varina sorry varina i just put as much energy recharge as i can on her so that she can always be able to ult she has an energy recharge right here we haven't been lucky to get one right here uh, she's rocking crit rate but it's unbuilt the thing about varina she's only level 50 right but that's because all of her damage bonuses can be acquired at level 50. this right here you unlock it 20 percent given to the team for attack this she can be level one you can give that to the team all this does is heal people right grant a shield wait oh never mind never mind it revives people and grants them shield this is actually good but a skill issue <laughs> i'm gonna keep saying that you don't need that shit bro you know what i mean skill issue to be honest uh and in terms of resources being like spared yeah i'm just not gonna do that so verena's probably gonna be chilling there for a while she's rocking the energy region variation i love this tree line for supportive characters it's just very nice other than that that's pretty much everyone uh yeah that's my account now i will say we have been knocking out all the events this event completely done depths of illusion oh two days it expires holy shit hold on depths of illusion we've almost cleared this out fuck i need to do that just to get this 
who cares about that i need to just do one more depths of illusion and then i will have completely cleared out the entirety of it so that's still missing uh ascend it yeah we've done that solitary path we we need to do that uh aloy smelt we completed all of that shit yep all that's done second coming we completed all of that i believe yes sir and then court cleansing we're in the middle of oh we got one more dropped for today this is the double drop event for the echoes but yeah that's my account guys i hope it brought you some value that's what it's looking like free to play friendly wise and we're gonna see how long we can get but like i said we don't get chang lee boys that's all she wrote <laughs> peace